What's up guys, I'm going to be showing you how to do memory hacking on GBA games using Visual Boy Advance. Uh, the game that we'll be doing is Open Season, this is a game that I've been speedrunning lately. So let's get to it, let's hop into a, a level here. So basically when you're trying to find memory hacks, um, what you'll be doing is, so if we go to memory viewer here, each one of these memory addresses holds a value for something in the game. And so basically what you're trying to do is figure out um, what these values go to and then you can change them to whatever you want to to help you in the game. So let's say you wanted to figure out how to change how many lives you have. So right now we have 12 lives. So let's go to Tools, Cheats, and Find Cheat. And we will want to go equal to 12 and hit Search. And this will bring up all the addresses that have a value of 12 at this point in time. Now, what we'll do is we will die a couple times. So now we have 11 lives, so we go back to cheats and find cheat, and now we type in 11 and search again, and now it'll show us all the addresses that had 12 as their old value and now 11 as their new value, and so it's just these two right here. Um, and so what you then do is you would write down those addresses, so I'm just going to snip them real quick, like that. And then we'll close that, and now we'll go back to Memory Viewer. And you'll want to type in, so we'll switch to 8-bit here, and then you'll type in that memory address. And I've already tried both of these, so I know that it's not the first one, it's the second one that changes it. So we'll type in 030077E5. And hit go. And then we will go to the fifth one here. So that's right here. So now we can see that the current address matches what we found here. And right now the value is set to B, which is hex for 11. And the way that you can figure that out is if you go to your calculator, and you go to programmer, so I'm already in programmer. Um, if you type in 11, and decimal it'll show you that in hex it's B. So now let's try changing that. So let's change it to 63 which is hex for 99. So that should give us 99 lives. And if we hit close here you can see that we now have 99 lives. So that's pretty cool. Um, another thing you can do is so if you do find a memory hack like that is you can look at the addresses right before and after it. So in this case, this address right here is 5, and this one is 0. And I've messed around with this, and I've figured out that this one here, the 5, is how many hearts you have. That's your your life. And this 0 here is actually your roar bar here. So let me show you guys that. If I hit this to 2, and let's make this 10, and then hit close, you'll see that my health goes down to 2, and my roar bar is now at full. Um, so that's another strategy that you can use is to look at the addresses around memory hacks that you find to find more memory hacks. Um, one more that I'll show you guys quickly is with the ammo. So I'm going to buy some bubble gum right now. So buy that. So right now I've got five of them. So we'll do that same method where we go up to cheats, find cheat, and we'll clear this and type in five and bring up all the values that have five. Perfect. And now we will shoot a few. So now we're at three. And let's search again for ones that now have three. And you can see that there's four different addresses. Um, let's try to narrow it down a little bit more and shoot a couple more. So now, now we have one left. And we can see that these bottom two addresses switch down to one. So, and again, I've tested these, and it's this bottom one that is the right one. 
So let's snip that. Go into the memory viewer. Go into 8 bit. And let's type in that address 03007 one So that is this address right here. As you can see, it's 1. Let's put that up to FF, which is the maximum number that you can do in hex with two digits. And now you can see that we have infinite gumballs, which is sort of a lie because when you shoot one, it just takes you back to the maximum. But still, you can see that we've increased our gumballs up to 30, which is pretty cool. And once again, like I said, now we can look at the addresses surrounding that memory address. And if we go to memory viewer, type in that address again. So it turns out that the addresses before it actually tell you how many of the other animal ammo types you have, which we can change. So let's change these all to FF, 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 and FF. And now, as I switch weapons, you'll see that I now have skunks, which I didn't have before. I have squirrels, I have beavers, and ducks, which is cool because at this point in the game, you're not even supposed to have those weapons. So hopefully this tutorial has been helpful for you. Hopefully it showed you kind of the process that you go about when you're looking for memory hacks. Let me know in the comments if this video helped you find any memory hacks. And thanks for watching.